find product links below and hundreds more videos on my channel. Hey guys, super quick video. Just wanted to talk about um, this uh, DIY follow focus. Um, now it's a pretty cheap build. Uh, I think probably about 25 pounds, um, maybe a bit less or a bit more. And it's pretty simple to do as well. I mean, it's um, it's a Huco gearbox um, and some of them are good, some of them are not, uh, as far as I understand. A lot of companies actually make their um, follow focuses from um, from the same gearbox, uh, but I don't know, some of them better. This one that I got uh, has some play in it. Not too much, but a little bit, S still usable. Um, and yeah, I mean, the build is pretty simple. I've just used some old Lego wheels. Uh, you could use, there's a bunch of stuff you could use, um, whatever, whatever you find, I guess. Uh, I'll post some links below. Um, or I'll, uh, I'll like post a, a right up a link with all the stuff you need. But overall, it's pretty simple. This was about, I think, £17. I have no idea how much it costs now. Probably found it for quite cheap. Um, this is just a, like a £2 bracket from eBay. And um, right here, you see I've got this set up in a way where it's got this U-joint right here. And it's simply just so that I can, I can get this... Um, the, the, the sort of uh, the knob because uh, this is actually just the knob and then this is the actual wheel that goes on the lens uh, so just so that I can have it at you know at a different angle I thought that could be useful uh, and it actually you know kind of works so I kind of like it like that um, I didn't really use this that much and I'm actually just putting this unit on eBay so I figured I'd show you guys how to you know how to build one of these before I sold it um, some other things that could be used um, a big knob like this. I'll have a link to this if I can find it. This was from um, an electronics company in the UK. I forgot which one, but I'll find the uh, the link for that. Um, you can use these as well. Uh, this is um, from the pound shop I found. Uh, this was like a jar opener. Uh, and it came with this piece and this piece. I just took the whole thing apart and took these out. Um, and I won't bother explaining how I opened the jars, but it was just some like weird mechanism. Um, so that you can use, you know, you wrap this around the lens and then uh, put this here instead of this wheel. And um, yeah, and then you, you, you know, you've got a geared uh, follow focus. Of course, you could also just get the correct gear. I'll see if I can find a link to that. Uh, but you can actually just buy the correct, um, the correct pitch of gear uh, so that you can just use a standard one. Um, I'll see if I find something that fits this unit, but I'm, I think it should be pretty easy. Um, another thing I've done is I've taken one of these and put some foam on it. I uh, made like a big foam wheel. And what this actually allowed me to do was use this uh, on the tiny, tiny focus wheel of the HV30 camera. Uh, and I think it's the same on the HV20 and 40. So uh, if you have a camera recorder like that with a tiny little wheel at the side, which um, you have to use for full manual focus, then this is kind of a good solution. Um, now, the bottom here, I'm sure there are better solutions than this, but um, what I've done is I've just taken a small piece of aluminium. This is the only pe uh, part of the build, of my particular build, which might be a little bit more difficult, is just to take a piece of aluminium, uh, drill three holes, and then tap them which means put the threads in. Um, and uh, I'll have a link to the things you need. You basically just need a drill and a three pound, um, or about three pound 50, I think, a uh, little tool that actually adds these threads. So um, not too expensive, not too difficult to do. If you can use a hand drill, if you can borrow one or get someone to do that, then it's pretty easy. Alternatively, you could, I guess, simply just glue this uh, or use a super clamp to hold it. So if you get, um, a friction arm uh, with a super clamp and just clamp onto this. That might work, uh, I don't know, but I think so. Um, and it's, you know, fairly inexpensive uh, way to do it. Um, so yeah, any questions, ask me below, but I uh, hope this was useful and I uh, hope you enjoyed that and um, see you in the next video.